the viewfinder. I am on my way to Georgetown Cupcake right now. So this weekend, or today rather, I have something very special that I'm going to the Millionaire Ball. Well, my friend is hosting the Millionaire Ball. And so I am on my way to Georgetown Cupcake right now. Then checking into the hotel. I'm so excited. I guess I can tell you guys now. My friend is having a ball because we are celebrating the major success and achievement, oh my gosh, a Pomeranian, of her business, Kendra Scale My Business, making a million dollars in less than a year during a global pandemic. I am so, so proud of her. I'll tell you guys more about it once I get to the hotel and check in, but I'm so proud of her. I'm so excited. This is a monumentous occasion. I'm also really happy that we are celebrating her today because she doesn't really celebrate herself in this way. So I'm really excited for that. So yes, we have a ball gown, darling. We have accoutrements. We have cupcakes and champagne. So yeah, it's gonna be a virtual ball. She is in Canada right now. And of course, because of COVID, we can't have like a physical ball. So we're having a virtual ball. It's gonna be so much fun. There are so many exciting things planned. I can't wait. So yeah, we decided to take a little staycation, stay in a hotel just to get away for a few days, have some fun, relax, just unwind and feel like we went somewhere. So. Just got up to the hotel. I am cooling off. I'm about to eat. Your girl is hungry. The room is really cute. It's very well lit. Um, I love the fact that we have Byredo toiletries. Hello, beauty influencer. Yes. So I'm going to get settled. I'm going to eat so that I can start libating for tonight's party. Oh, I did pick up lit cupcakes. Um, I also did a room tour, so that will be up. When I was looking at this hotel, where can I put you guys? I've always known about this hotel because this used to be the Ritz Carlton and Buckhead. I couldn't find any thorough reviews. Let's just say that. <laughs> so I did a hotel review. I'm gonna eat, I just have some Chick-fil-A. I made sure that I was properly getting all my carbs in today so that I could enjoy libations. So, I'm gonna relax, shoot some content, and then get ready for tonight. But first I have to eat, I'm hungry. So, I'm just in here chatting with the belle of the ball, Miss Kendra Y. Hill. I told you guys earlier that I'm just so proud of her. I could not be more happy for her. She's just everything. Mm. Love on your friends, you guys. They deserve it. I am shooting content because that's what content queens do. And you guys, I really love that I have Byredo toiletries. I can't, okay, let me spell it. Let me put you guys down. Ooh, this is a spicy angle. Oh, ooh, it's like a lime verbena something. Love it, very fresh. You getting ready to shoot content because it's spicy and that's what we do. to do staycations more often um take a shower hit up the edges of my hair because you know in this hot georgia heat but i'm just so happy it feels so good to be out and like away from my dog and not being a mom this weekend and having fun and 
celebrating my friend and just getting to be here and enjoy myself like I need to do these type of staycations more often I get to really celebrate my friend and I'm just so happy I hope she has the best ball ever it's been a stressful and trying last month um, that's all I'm gonna say and I'm just so happy that this is something that she has that's positive and amazing and beautiful and fun and festive to look forward to. And I can't wait till we all get to love on her tonight and share our toasts. Uh, I was gonna write speaking points, but I wanna just flow straight from the heart. Uh, I'm just so, so proud of her. When I was telling a few people in my life about this ball they were like whoa she made a million dollars this year i'm like yeah in a global pandemic and i was saying to her like i know people my age who are millionaires in terms of a million dollars worth of assets because that's the true definition of a millionaire but i don't know anyone who has made a million dollars in seven months this year so <sighs> she is just like She's amazing. Um, I met her because I took her branding and sponsorships course last December. And before then, I found her on YouTube when I was researching hotels for Punta Cana. And she had like three vlogs. And I was just like, wow, she has such a fun personality. Uh, I loved what she showed of the resort. So I subscribed to her and I was watching all her videos and then she put out this course. I was also following her on Instagram and uh, something just told me, take it. And then I waited a week and then it went on sale. I think it was for, was it for Black Friday? I wanna say it was a Black Friday sale, but the course didn't come out until December. So I purchased the course. I was super excited about that. I was following her on Instagram and one day she was like, does anybody want to help me find outfits? I'm going out of town. And I was like, yes. And so we got on a video chat and the rest is history. That is literally how I met my friend through the internet. I always joke with her because we have never met each other yet, but um, I have a lot of friends who don't live in state and it's not always about the closeness in terms of proximity. Um, it's about the bond you share. And ever since then, I have just learned so much from her. I always say that, like, how could anyone not feel just blessed to be in your presence? Because that's honestly how I feel. She is just, she's going to be blushing and she's going to be mad that I'm saying all this. But, um each of my close friends, they have all touched me in a way that makes me want to be a better person. And Kendra is definitely no exception. Um, as a friend, as a daughter, as a sibling, as a business owner, an entrepreneur, an influencer, just better person overall, a Christian. Like she is just she holds a very special place in my heart. So I was so excited to be able to celebrate her this weekend because I wouldn't have missed it for the world. And I don't know if I told you guys, but she is in Canada right now. So um, the borders, I think, are actually closed to the United States. So I couldn't physically be there with her. So we're having this virtual ball and there's going to be about 20 other of us in there. And it's going to be so fun. So I was like, let me make this a special dedicated vlog. We have our ball gowns, our accoutrements, and we have all the fanfare. And she has definitely stepped up <laughs> the game and set the bar higher for every type of virtual party. Because who's been to a virtual ball? Like, we are literally getting together across the country across different countries we're staying in hotels or we're staying at home and we're putting on suits and ties and dresses and ball gowns to celebrate somebody like it's just so fun it's definitely the event of the year especially just because this year has been so hard overall and it's almost like we really haven't had much to look forward to this year um and I say that in terms of like 
there's so much uncertainty there's so much grief and loss it has just been a hard ass year and so just being able to virtually attend an event like this I'm just so happy yeah I'm just so excited like this is just it's already been a beautiful day and it's only three o'clock. So yeah, let me go watch some Netflix. You guys know I've been really into the show Dynasty. So I'm just going to get in bed and watch that now. Until it's time for me to take a shower and start getting ready for the ball, you guys. If you guys are feeling a little stir crazy, definitely get away to a hotel. Even if it's just for one night. And just stay in the hotel, like order room service. I think the restaurant downstairs is closed and so is room service, but the bar is open. Like just stay in the hotel, even if it's just for one night, order in, like play games on the computer, watch TV, watch movies, but just stay inside and just enjoy yourself. Like I'm already so relaxed and enjoying myself just by being away from home, even if it's just down the street. So let me go and I will see you guys later. So by the time this vlog goes up, I'll be able to share this with you guys. My friend invited us to her virtual ball with these beautiful invitation bottles of champagne. Kendra made a Millie. Yes, she did, baby. This is my bottle of Bel Air White. My friend wanted us all to have Bel Air White, so I have that. I've never had it before. And then I just picked this up. Uh, these are the things that I got at the liquor store like three weeks ago in one of the weekly vlogs. This is just a bottle I picked up. For the fanfare, darling, we have our champagne stopper. We have our Waterford champagne flutes. Let me show you the others. and my cupcakes. <laughs> the fact that I'm actually vlogging with this scarf on my head is so funny. <laughs> it is about 4.45. I just took another shower, which is mandatory in this hot Georgia heat. Oh, what I wanted to say was, I was a little nervous about staying in a hotel. Let me get out of the sun because I'm about to start sweating. So I was a little nervous about staying in a hotel just because I haven't really been out a lot since COVID. But one thing I really like about this hotel is that their elevators have self-sanitizing buttons. Now for someone like myself, who is germaphobic and OCD, uh, touching buttons and doors and keypads, those are like, ah. So I really like that this hotel has self-sanitizing uh, elevator buttons. Now, I don't know how exactly that works, but I just wanted to mention that. Now it's time for me to do my makeup, darling. Oh, if you're wondering, let me stand up and show you. Vanna White, Miss Keiko Beauty. This is my Barefoot Dreams. I keep stubbing my toe. <laughs> this is my Barefoot Dreams robe. I got this like two or three years ago from a Nordstrom anniversary sale and honestly this is my first time wearing it because it's usually too hot today is a special day we call our own makeup is done I have on NARS Lovejoy blush I'm gonna be using Giorgio Armani 
the Armani matte. <laughs> I have on Ardell 600 lashes. I'm gonna try to stand in front of the fan so I don't sweat out my hair. <sighs> Last thing I have to do is take my picture. Then we can start the bow. So my food arrived. I got calamari, lobster bisque, lasagna, and a pizza for later. Like if I'm going to stay up and have an after party, I'm going to get hungry, child. She likes to eat. And I got this from Mambo Italian Street. So I finished taking my photos. Now I'm taking off these heels, honey, because this is a virtual ball. This is the benefit. Yes. My baby says she's coming along. And I say today has been a day, darling. I've just been praying for peace, favor. Oh, magnificent favor. I to put my hair up, honey. I'm hot. Scent of the night. My number nine, Astor Place. This is what I wear every year on my birthday. This is what I would wear at my wedding. So, how fitting that I wear it to the millionaire ball. Oh, I'm so happy. My girl's night is coming along. It's turning around. We are, ooh. <laughs> I'm ready to turn up and have some fun. I'm about to make a libation. Just for some little behind the scenes, this dress does not fit. <laughs> it is so big. I put it on like a bra. I twisted it around to the front and zipped it up. It fits from like the waist down. I mean, it's a little loose, but it fits fine. But the bust area is so big now. Like, this is... These are the woes of weight loss, but I'm not complaining. Don't mistake it. She's not complaining. I didn't show you guys a full view uh -oh, <laughs> of my dress. So this dress is from Mac Dougal. It has a very long train. It's very dramatic. We love it. It gives all the fanfare. Uh, yeah, I purchased this a few years ago. This is the second event I have worn it to. Mm, I can't show you the back, but it's just a regular, regular back. But it's very dramatic. It's everything. Okay, so we have three cookies and cream and one strawberry sundae, which is like strawberry with chocolate and such. It should be yummy. First, I'm having lobster bisque. There's no lobster in it, but it tastes lobstery. I guess it's so good. <sighs> so I just had to come in and say that my friend gave the best little intro opening <laughs> what what should i call it like uh introduction of me i may include it in the video i may not like i don't know i like to keep my friends off of social media i'm very protective over them um but just know that <sighs> she's just so special to me and I don't want to get all emotional because I could cry right now but she's so so special to me and I'm just happy that I could be here and celebrate this occasion <laughs> um, but I am just <laughs> why am I over here vlogging about to cry I really appreciate the uh I just love her so much like whew, anyone who's had the pleasure of meeting her knows how amazing she is now let me go get myself together oh, like who knew that this uh ball would be so emotional but oh all I can say is cherish the people in your life who you love um you know, each of my friendships with people are so special, but um, I just really, I really cherish them. Uh, <laughs> she's going to see this and she's going to, she's going to talk shit about me. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything.
It's either Team Bands or Team Rex. So I'm talking about some money in here. Yeah. Right after she finished introducing me, because she went row by row introducing everyone, she was like, and her mom just um, texted me and wished me a happy ball. Like, uh, let me go get myself together. But <laughs> I didn't think I'd be crying tonight. But it just really means a lot to have amazing women in my corner. Okay, we're going to go. I'm going to go pull myself together and get ready for this game so I can win. But I just had to share that with you guys and let you know, like, this ball means a lot, you know. first time having Bel Air champagne apparently this is Rick Ross's champagne this is really good it's kind of sweet it's not a brute I don't know what it is let me read it Can I go next? Of course. Okay. <laughs> no, no, this thing doesn't rip my face. Kendra, I just adore and love you. Just the biggest blessing all around to making me a better Christian woman, dog mom, sister, daughter, businesswoman, just everything. You have just consistently been there and just shown me I'm another woman who is just letting God lead her in. I love you so much and I'm so, so happy for you. I'm very happy that you let us all come together today and celebrate you because we should be doing this more often. You're so amazing yeah. and I just love you so much and cheers to 10 million more, 100 million more, a trillion more. I love you so much. Uh, <laughs> Take that, take that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be fun. Um, you can start doing whatever you need to do. I'll turn around. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so, yeah, so I just want to thank everybody for coming. This was so fun for me. I'm sorry I was an hour late again. Blame the St. Regis. Uh, but seriously, thank you guys so much for coming. It's so pretty in here. Thank you guys so much for coming, and I really just, um, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not going hard enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not available enough. But these words tonight and your presence tonight is such a social proof that I actually do the best I can, and I'm doing everything I possibly can to be a help to everybody I can. And really, most of all, of course, the most important thing to me is to really share God and God's love with everybody that I possibly can. Um, so these words really meant a lot to me. Your presence tonight really meant a lot to me. It means a lot that you got dressed and sat in your house in gowns and ties. And like, it means, <laughs> it means a lot. You didn't have to. We would have got kicked out. But you didn't have to, but you did. And I'm grateful. So again, um, enjoy dessert if you have dessert. If you want to stick around for gifts, stick around for gifts. And if not, have a great night. What was that noise? Oh, we're resetting. Sorry for gifts. Um, it's pretty grand, actually. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this experience. I hope this has been fun for you. I hope this isn't your first, you know, uh, first, maybe your first, but I hope it's not your last virtual event. And obviously, like, this is the way we're on. Like, until the world is safe again, which I'm a prophet of the Lord, it won't be so April or May next year. Um, until the world is safe again, um, you know, this is the kind of stuff that we're going to have to do. And um, I don't want you guys to forfeit birthday celebrations. Don't forfeit holiday parties. 
don't force me celebrating your milestone. Um, I plan on celebrating more, even the small wins. And I want to encourage you guys to also celebrate the small wins in your life. If that's sticking to your diet for a week, <laughs> if that's successfully, you know, maybe not necessarily meeting your goals, but working really hard to try. If that is starting a new business, if that's having a baby, if that's, you know, being happy in a relationship, whatever it is that you are doing in your life and you're striving for, I really just want to encourage you to do that thing and to celebrate it as you strive. Don't get stuck in the space of not celebrating yourself. And right now, especially with COVID and everyone being in quarantine, a lot of people being in isolation, like your mental health is so important. I know you guys see it on the internet all the time, but as a person who understands what's happening beyond medicine and what's happening in the realm of the spirit, like you have to really be mindful and diligent about your mind and diligent about the things that you take in. What do you see? What do you watch? What do you listen to? What do you, what are you pouring back into yourself that is positive? Even if you don't feel like that, that day, you know, you have to, I have to do it every day. It's a battle every day, but that's where we are. I just want to encourage you guys to like celebrate yourself, celebrate each other. I'm encouraging you to really celebrate each other Give people their flowers while they are alive. Don't wait till they die to be slow thing and flower bringing. Okay, you know. And I know, um, you know, we know these things, but it's nice to have a reminder. And this party for me was that reminder. It was that reminder to celebrate myself, but also to be advantageous about celebrating others. So anyway, I love you all. If you're leaving. Adios, gracias, uh, goodbye. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you're staying. You're nosy, but I love you. <laughs> Ariel Monster, aka uh, Pick Up Dog, got me a Jade Rose. Did I say she got me a Jade Rose? You did. I'm yeah. such a good, like, gift giver. You are. I want to open it so bad, but what's going on with I can't wait to use this. I'm excited because I've never had one. Where's the and it has an ebook too, so I have to send it to Tonight you. Tonight was amazing. I had so much fun. Now we can shop at the after party. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna party. Woo! I got my late checkout for tomorrow at four. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys. Happy Sunday. <laughs> oh, I'm so sleepy. Thank goodness got a late checkout so i am going to shoot some content and then be on my way home i had the best time last night and yesterday it was such a great event i'm just so proud of my friend still oh i can't wait to edit the footage and look back at it and reminisce on all the great times mm, so fun I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Also, this Barefoot Dreams robe, super comfy and amazing. You guys should get one, I'll link it down below. It's amazing. I'm gonna skedaddle. I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed this special vlog. We haven't had any fun vlogs since February. Hmm, how fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Oh, I have to do my final review of the hotel. I'll make that another clip. Bye.